You got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Really wish I could get drunk sometimes. The premiere episode of CW's Superman and Lois proves once again that the Man of Steel works best on the small screen. It gives DC fans a heartfelt, character-driven approach to the franchise that turns out to be surprisingly different from the usual Arrowverse crop. Superman and Lois is ostensibly a spin-off of Supergirl, with Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth Tulloch reprising their respective roles. It might as well be set in a standalone universe, though, because the very premise raises a lot of confusing continuity questions. What matters is that Hecklin and Tulloch finally have a place where they can make these characters their own instead of scattered appearances on Supergirl. It's been obvious since Hecklin debuted as Kal-El back in Supergirl Season 2 that he has the right presence and demeanor to be the Man of Steel. And Tulloch has shown promise in her limited Arrowverse appearances. Fittingly, the spin-off gives both characters a proper, long overdue introduction by briefly tracing the course of their shared history. We get new takes on iconic moments like Kal-El's space pod crashing in Smallville, Lois and Clark's first meeting, Superman's debut in Metropolis, and more. This sets a clear tone for the series right off the bat, one that blends the wonder of the Christopher Reeve era with the down-to-earth feel of early Smallville and the earnest humor of The Flash. But while Superman and Lois may share a bit of Flash's DNA, it's striking just how little it feels like another Arrowverse spinoff. It abandons a lot of the tired and familiar tropes. There's no backup team of snarky, attractive tech dorks ready to pitch in, just Clark's gruff father-in-law. And Lois and Clark are long past the usual romantic and professional struggles facing the Barry Allens and Kara Danverses of the Arrowverse. Instead, Superman and Lois fills the CW's quota of handsome, brooding teens by having this dynamic duo trying to raise teenage sons, neither of whom is immediately aware their father is the most powerful and beloved superhero in the world. There's a lot that could go wrong here, but the twin sons angle works well enough. It allows the show to become a sort of reverse Smallville, with Clark himself now acting as the mentor to sons just beginning to come to terms with their true places in the world. The boys initially seem pigeonholed into opposing roles, John is the popular jock and Jordan is the brainy, awkward loner, but by the end of the episode, the performances of Jordan Elsass and Alexander Garfin deliver enough depth to shake free of those shackles. Sadly, the actual plot of the premiere episode is disappointingly straightforward. Its goal is to establish the series' status quo above all else, and you'll probably see most of the plot twists and reveals coming a mile away. There is a new enemy in the form of The Stranger, played by Wole Parks. This armored Superman hater pops up whenever the episode needs some action to break up the family drama. Much like how those early Harrison Wells stingers really set the tone for The Flash in Season 1, what we learn about The Stranger is enough to give a much better sense of what this series is truly about and how the family angle will intertwine with the superhuman side of Clark's life. And if nothing else, the quality of the visual effects and the action scenes is better than the average for the Arrowverse, though it remains to be seen if that standard will continue beyond this clearly expensive pilot episode. Superman and Lois is far more entertaining than its fairly generic title might suggest. The series makes the most of Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth Tulloch's chemistry, utilizing the two characters and their romance in a way that Supergirl never could. The idea of Lois and Clark being parents also works well, both giving the series a clear hook and also recapturing the appeal of those early Smallville seasons. Superman and Lois may feel utterly divorced from the rest of the Arrowverse, but that's just as likely to be a selling point for many viewers. For more on the entertainment world, be sure to check out what's new to Netflix in February and our breakdown of the new Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer, and for everything else, be sure to keep it right here on IGN.